got the body from Jim Mellis, but I had switched the motor. I got these bad ass bitches running around this bitch, they all the coders. Yeah, I just told them make a store now. Yeah, I just bought all the Trojans. Let's go. Yeah, I told her stand my knees. I told her stop telling nothing. What's good, YouTube? I'm back with another video today, man. Today, you see where I'm at with We at the field, you feel me? We at the field. Today, I'm at the field just to drop some gems on y'all, man, some tips. I'm um, show y'all some of the drills that I do when I train to help get better. I'm um, gonna work my craft and really get better at the running back position. So hopefully today, we get some insight, get some help on drills or focus points when you're doing the drills or anything like that. If you just kind of need some guidance on some of the drills or how to get better at the running back position. So that's where I come in at. Let's do it. So every drill, I'm gonna go slow the first time and kind of tell y'all what I'm focusing on. And then after that, I'm gonna speed it up, show y'all the full speed. So in this drill right here, we wanna focus on having quick feet, planting, and getting in a different direction, as well as staying at a low center of gravity while doing it the whole time. And then after the drill, you wanna make sure you burst. So let's hop into it right now so I can show y'all. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this, um, but that last drill does not have to be done with hurdles. They can be done with bags. You can set up cones in that way. Just make sure they're kind of like a staircase. I mean, you'll be good. So that's kind of how you set it up if you don't have hurdles. Okay, so introducing the next drill. Um, in this drill, we basically just want to focus on having a low center of gravity, like you're running the ball, exploding out of your lateral movements, and planting and exploding. So a lot of movements at the running back position, you want to be able to plant, Drop your weight and explode. Whatever you're doing, anytime you move, if you're jump cutting, you wanna drop your weight and explode to that jump cut. So let's hop right into this one. The point of emphasis on this drill you wanted to be is to drop your weight, make sure you're exploding out of that cut, and also bringing that opposite foot. So say that I'm cutting to the left. You want to plant and bring that opposite, that opposite knee up and towards the direction that you're going. That way, you can run that way. So I'm gonna walk through it so you guys get a just understanding of what the drill is, and I'm gonna go through it full speed so y'all can see it. Now I know some people, some running backs, I try not to do this, but I know some running backs, when they're doing this drill, they like to break it down. But the reason I try not to break it down is because if I can get out of a predicament or situation in the game with one cut and go, why am I using three, four steps? So that's why I'm working one cut, one cut, one cut, because why, why chop down you know, and I'm, I'm changing direction to probably like a 45 degree angle. It doesn't make sense. So you want to make sure you're pressing it, planting, pressing it, planting. So the point of emphasis on this drill is again, dropping your weight, planting, and then pressing the line of scrimmage and making that jump cut move. So you guys will see as I walk through it and as I um, go through it full speed, how I tempo this drill. Tempo is very important on the drill. That way you really get the fundamentals down of dropping your weight and planting. And then the way I finish the drill with the jump cut and get out of it. getting kind of dark out here y'all so I got one more drill and this is kind of like the finale kind of more complex drill um, more if you kind of mastered everything else then you kind of work on this but I know it might be some dogs watching me so you feel me you gotta have something for the dogs that have been working at this for years so on this drill specifically you want to work on again dropping your weight and exploding out of cuts and being quick on your feet so on this drill it could be easy for you to get stuck in the ground whatever you want to call it get stuck in the sand um, so on this drill, you got to make sure that you're planning 
and move it. Cause this will be like a three or two or three cut drill depending on how you want to look at it. Um, so I'm gonna walk y'all through it real quick and then we're gonna go full speed and then we're gonna get up out of here cause it's getting dark. What's up y'all boys? Uh, my camera's about to die right now actually. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Make sure you watch the video, man. What's up y'all? I'm on my phone now because my camera died. You know, I was recording my outro. Um, but appreciate y'all boys for coming out here to work with me today, man. Um, come out here to learn with me um, and get better. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you tell a friend, tell a friend. Tell a friend, you already know the motto, man. Without further ado, we out.